Hey guys, Carolina Gamer here. I have a brand new Slim I just purchased. It uh, It's the, still the one that has the uh, Hannah chip, which is good for what we want to do. Uh, I'm going to be installing the TX Cool Runner using the Quick Solder board right here. I'll get you a close-up view of these real quick. Right there, I've already showed you these. I'll bring you the cool runner up here as well we're going to be installing this into the console now let me zoom back out okay yes yeah, so we'll be using the Nandex that has the v3 code on it to program the cool runner and uh, we'll be using it to read the NAND which will connect to this as well um, this goes in this area here this isn't official I'm just you know getting it close to show you where everything goes on the install and then this right here goes right there that's where the stuff will be installed on the console and I'll give you guys uh, step by steps for this I'll take some pictures and do your diagram but first things first uh, we're gonna go ahead and install our quick solder board so I'm going to switch the camera off. I'm going to take some pictures of the diagram and I'll be back once I get this installed and uh, we'll go from there. Okay guys, I'm here. I just want to take a quick second to uh, show you this. It's very important if you know you go ahead and put a little of your uh, solder onto these points that the quick solder board is going to go into it just makes it really easy to do and uh, especially this point here where there's no solder on uh, the HANA chip connection point uh, it's a little tricky to do but you should be able to do it fairly easily um, just be sure that you tend that point that way it makes your quick solder point work a lot better and down here too um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the diagram of how to line it up and I'll be back to hook up the Nandex Okay, y'all, we have the quick solder PCB installed here. It's not going anywhere. Let me get you a little bit better view of that. It's installed right there. It's not going anywhere. I have the NAND X right here. The cable. So let's go ahead and hook the cable up. Just match color for color. Like that right there. You know, push down, make sure they're all good. They are. Then you can go ahead and plug that into your NAND X. like so make sure you got it going the right way it's in there like that then plug the USB cable into the Nandex right there and now we will go to the computer and I will show you what to do from there and this is just for reading the Nand which is all we want to do before we go any further. So let's go ahead and go to the computer and I will be back with you on there. Okay, so we're on the computer now. We have the NAND X connected to the computer. We have the console connected to the NAND X with the quick solder board. And we have the console plugged into the wall for power, but it's not turned on. You just have to make sure it's plugged up so that the NAND X can see the NAND and read and write it. What we're going to do here is we're going to get some NAND reads, then we're going to compare the NANDs, then we're going to create an ECC glitch file, and then write that to the console. It's a very simple process. I have a notepad over here with my commands already written out, so I'm just going to copy them. And when I paste this, it's going to start writing, reading immediately. And once it finishes the first one, it'll go to the second one, 
You see I have them named NAND1, NAND2, NAND3, NAND4. Once this is done, we're going to compare them with NAND Healer. And then we're going to use ECC Glitch Generator to generate our glitch image. So I'm just going to go over to NAND Pro 3.0 uh, folder. Uh, make sure you have your command prompt opened in the NAND Pro folder. To do that, just hold shift and then right click and then go to all the command prompt here. So I'm just going to right click and then hit paste. And there it's going now. It's reading the first NAND1.bin as you'll see right here and I'll be back to you once this gets done with the fourth one uh, I'm just gonna leave it set in here and when it gets about ready to finish the fourth one I will be back with you guys and we'll go from there okay guys the console is just about finished with the NAND reads and there it is there so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and compare the NANDs and to do that, let's just select our folder with the NANDs. It'll take a second to do that, and then just hit compare. They should all match, and once they do that, you can go ahead and close NAND Healer. And to make our ECC glitch file, just open up Best Pigs ECC Glitch Generator 1.1 and for the Trinity motherboard you're going to select others make sure that you deselect auto detect motherboard because you want to be able to select others then go to generate ECC file and then just pick the top one uh, that you just read make sure it's the one from your console and if it pops up anything like that you can just hit yes um, that was just a previous one I had in there, it's so no big deal. Uh, yours shouldn't have that problem. It really wasn't a problem, you shouldn't have that issue pop up. So once that's complete, just hit OK. And then you can go ahead and close this down. And now we want to write the glitch file to the console. So to do that, I have the command here already. And I'm just going to copy it. And then I'm going to paste it into NAND Pro 3.0 and then hit enter this is going to go very quick because it's only 40 blocks once this is complete we'll go back to the console I'll show you how everything's working um, and show you how to install the core runner and then show you it booting up I'll be back in a second okay guys we got our glitch file uh, written to the NAND so right now what we have to do is just remove the NAND X go ahead and unplug both ends of that unplug it from the quick solder board and slide these cables out uh, these are what we're going to put in the console with the cool runner go ahead and unplug the console so what I'm going to do now is show you guys a diagram of how to connect your cool runner and the soldering points for it. Uh, most of the points are already here, uh, but there's two on the bottom that we have to take care of. So I'm going to show you how to connect that up. I'm going to put mine in as well. And once I get that complete, I'll get back to you guys and show you the final product of everything connected and good to go. Uh, you'll need to make sure that you got your cool runner programmed for the Trinity motherboards. That's another video. You guys can check that out. Uh, it's easy to do as well. So go ahead and check that video out. Make sure you got yours programmed. And then you'll put it in the console. And then it'll boot up a glitch kernel. So let me get this installed and I'll be right back. Okay guys, this is the back side of the board. I'll have pictures for this as well. Um, you know, I just bunched this up and put it over here and then taped it down. Uh, so I've got everything soldered up. 
and ready to go. I angled the core runner in here so that it didn't rest on any of the uh, resistors that were on the board. Uh, so I wanted it, you know, in case I ever had to take it up, I didn't want there to be any chance that I'd rip off the resistor. So I angled it a little bit. But I have it completely soldered up. Everything is wired in, ready to go. Now, you want to make sure, let me see if I can angle this. You want to make sure that you've got this switch flipped to slim, and this one's flipped to normal up here. That way, uh, it's in normal mode, and this is in slim mode. That way, it'll work for you. But, as far as we are here, everything's done. This console is ready to be turned on, and it will be exploited. I will set the console up, and I'll show you guys that video. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we have our console connected. Uh, the DVD drive's in it, you know, just to be in it. Uh, I have the Ethernet cable plugged into it so that, you know, I can get the fuses off of the computer a lot quicker. Uh, the cool runner right here. And uh, the screen over here. Don't worry about the mess, you know. It's pretty hectic right now at the house. We're redoing some modeling and re remodeling and stuff, but... Anyway, let's get to the Cool Runner. I'm going to go ahead and just turn it on and just show you what the Cool Runner does. Let's see if I can get a better view of the Cool Runner. It's going to be hard because the LEDs are pretty bright, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. See the green light flashes. And let's pull back. That's relatively quick because the console is already on. And uh, it's right there. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Now, once you get your CPU key, uh, all you have to do is build your GG files, your GG build files with that, and then write that to the console. And it's up and booting a modified kernel. Carolina Gamer, this has been the Cool Runner install. You're going to want to check out my videos on updating your NAND X with the CK3i you'll want to update yours if yours doesn't include the V3 code then also you want to look at my video for updating the Cool Runner as well using the NAND X and uh, that's it guys Carolina Gamer I'm going to post you uh, video uh, picture diagrams for this as well uh, it'll be cut to the video so you can pause them, pause the video. But yeah, Carolina Gamer, out.